just an introduction to our guest here. Farid, if you're not aware, this is a, a Hadith rejecter. Uh, uh, we just wanted to welcome him to the stage. Yeah, Edip, go ahead. Please answer Ham's question. Yes. Welcome aboard, Edip. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, a moment ago, I was, in, in Shia, I was in Shia room and they were uh, discussing about Aisha. And um, I told them uh, something I would love to tell you too. And uh, I, I really, I think an outsider looking at what you are discussing about 1400 years ago, based on hearsay collection of East Side, East Side show problem on each uh, things. And uh, I, I don't think any, uh, any benefit coming out of that. The Quran doesn't require us to go discuss those things. And I think we are missing major point to be involving in our lifetime. The Quran says, Tilka ummatun qad khalat. You are the ummah, you are living your time. Instead of going in history and the narrations, they are partisan narrations, both sides. They're all, I don't trust it either side. An outsider absolutely will find problem on each story because there are contradictions in each schools. And uh, therefore, I really highly recommend you. We are in a time that we are backward and uh, the world is going forward in sciences, in understanding, in civilization. We are still indulging in uh, basically um, uh, clashing each other's narrations against each other, trying to go to history. We can never get out. And they lived their life that time and there were a lot of tragedies they lived. And um, to judge, overjudge, every time repeat the same story, I think it is not productive. And I am not required by the Quran either to side with this one, with that one, try to learn their stories. It is impossible to learn the, the truth. As far as I look at the stories, it appears to be that uh, Ali bin Abi Talib or Karbala is a great tragedy. Many people were killed there. And Umayyad dynasty took over, hijacked and distorted the message of which, the Quran in Islam. Are you, which tradition uh, are you using to mention these facts? Uh, well, uh, when I critically evaluate, I don't make my religion based on this. I don't make it a part of my religion, but I could be wrong. But as far as when but I they, critically they evaluate, religion. when uh, listen, when I critically, my religion is peacemaking Islam and I am a Muslim. I trust God. And I am monotheist. I follow the Quran alone, my brother. And I wish that you focus on the Quran, and which is the only Ahsan al Hadith, the reliable book, the one that La Rai there is no doubt in it. But in your own books, you know it, there are so many contradictions. Someone says this is Zaif, someone this is Mawzu, someone this, this is Ahadi or Mursal or Hassan. And the same in their stories. These are stories and story depending on person. You cannot even come with a count of the number of mutawatir hadiths. I know it because I used to be Sunni. Therefore, my suggestion for you, my brothers and sisters, please, let's discuss about what justice, what is freedom, oh. what is hate, these uh, issues. Uh, yes. You, you, wait, one second, one second, please. So uh, please refresh my picture. Where I want to discuss with you Surah Al-Rum, right? So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif Lam Mim, Ghulabat Rum. This is my reading of the ayah, uh, sorry, of the, of the surah. Can you please uh, tell me how you understand this surah? This is what I want to discuss with you, please. Jazakallah. God bless you. In the uh, Quran reformist translation, in the end note or footnote of that verse, I discussed why the reading, this reading, the traditional reading is problematic. I assert, I argue that this reading was fabricated later in order to mobilize campaign against the Persian Empire. And uh, because it contradicts, this reading contradicts with history, in fact, and also contradicts with the message of the Quran. And believers would not be happy with the Byzantine Empire to win. Why they would be happy? Byzantine Empire was a corrupt, oppressive, killer, murder empire. And the Muslims, in fact, they confronted them. First confrontation was the Byzantine Empire. And they killed in Muta. Uh, uh, okay, okay. What's, yes. the correct, what's the correct qira'ah? Correct reading to? is this. غَلَبَ تِرُّمْ فِي أَدْنَ الْأَرْضِ وَهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ غَلَبِهِمْ سَيُغْلَبُونَ غَلَبَ تِرُّمْ فِي أَدْنَ الْأَرْضِ The closest okay, so part of the... the, the yes. Who, who recited it like that? Excuse yes. me? Who's who, recited who it like that? 
who recited like that? And the reason I'm asking is because um, the, the seven reciters, excuse me, the 10 reciters, all 10, um, from all the main regions, Mecca, Medina, Sham, who read without with the existence of diacritical marks, to read it as Ghulibat al Rum. Why should we accept your alternative recitation if you don't even know who it's based on? Because I don't. Uh... My my trust in Quran, my understanding of the Quran is not based based on narration. This guy, that great guy, this small guy, this guy. No, no it's listen, not. Listen, listen, you're not understanding let me tell, his point. Let me tell you my my point. I'm, I'm, saying saying everyone, everyone. I'm saying everyone recited like that. It's always been recited like that. Well, there are many things we still always uh, been done, been claimed by Christianity. We know they are false. By Muslims, many things done. For example, there is ijma about Prophet Muhammad not being literate. We know that it is a big lie. It contradicts the Quran. It contradicts the common sense, and it, in fact, it is insult. Can you just focus on one point, uh, uh, Adib? They, they are all jumping like crazy. I don't understand on anything. Focus on the room. Mm -hmm. room. You, you, since you came in, you want to bring all the shubahat of atheists, Shia, Christians, and you were throwing at us. Just please focus on one question and okay, Farid asked you one question, please answer. Thank you very much. No, the reason I brought it, when you say everyone did this, I say everyone is not people of the past, especially in particular so, religion. How do you know that it's this Quran is from, is, the, is from Allah? How do you know that? I know that because Quran has uh, self-proof uh, inside uh, the Quran. This is circular reasoning. This doesn't make sense. It, it, uh, yes, it circular would be. Circular reasoning I, doesn't I, make sense. You're telling us the Quran is saying something. You're saying I, the Quran I, is saying something. The Quran is not I, saying that. Guys, can we just have to read one person, please? Excuse me, guys. Either the issue is um, the Quran is learned. It was taught by the Prophet, peace be upon him. You, you agree with this, right? He actually taught the Quran, right? Of course, but the Quran is preserved by God. Not by people, by God. So, so if the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught something, and everyone, every single person recited something else, doesn't that imply that you're mistaken? Because when no. you're doing it, you're taking, you're taking the Quran, you're, you're, you're rejecting, you're ignoring all the diacritical marks in the Quran, and you're guessing what the correct recitation should be. What if we all did that? Wouldn't that lead to ultimate chaos? So yeah, just, just quickly, just, just quickly, hold on. Hold just, on. Edith, just, just one second, Edith. Edith. Just 10 Edith. seconds, just 10 seconds, Edith. You said that non-Muslims look to history, and history contradicts this reading in the Quran. So you are appealing to history. So we just saying in our historical tradition, it has not been read in that other way. So why do you accept history um, from the perspective of non-Muslims but not history from the Muslims themselves? A beautiful question, but my primary reason for reading differently than traditional reading was the very, the Quran, the message of the Quran, it is impossible believers will be happy with the enemies of Islam uh, uh, with their victory. It doesn't make sense. And second, uh, I know uh, the uh, history is second justification for that. But let me respond to Brother Farid's objection. Uh, he says uh, about 10 people uh, reciting this way, reading this way, why you are no, going against people. that way. I, I, didn't say, I didn't say 10 people. I didn't say 10 people. I said not only is it the 10 people, so not only is it the 10 main reciters of the regions, it's the actual five regions completely. All of Ahl Medina, all of Mecca, all of Sham, all okay. of Basra. Okay, Kufa. let me respond to that one. We see, we see, we see sometimes uh, three of them out of, let just uh, say it as uh, for the sake of the argument, three out of ten, they disagree. We say three here, ten here. Sometimes uh, eight people read this way, two people read different. Sometimes six people, sometimes. Now you say nine people, well, there is one person read, therefore it's okay. Well, if there is disagreement between these people on certain reading, sometimes, rarely, sometimes ten. ten of them, hold on, sometimes Ten of them could be wrong because we know sometimes four of them could be wrong, two of them, three of them. It is a combination of readings and differences. Therefore, if sometimes some of them go wrong and once a while, rarely, 
all of them could go wrong because it seems kind of there is disagreement in those things. Therefore, I don't trust my reading of Show the Quran. Show us one time that they have gone wrong. Let one me tell you. Uh, let me tell you how I read the Quran. I, I read the Quran, the diatrical mark, the vowels of the Quran is less for us. The letters of the Quran is out there and it is proven by mathematical code of the Quran verbatim and letter by letter it is preserved by God. But as far as reading, if that reading doesn't create contradiction within the Quran, within the ayat of the Quran, or within the ayat in the universe, fil uh, uh, fil earth, then it is okay. And there is no problem. There could be multiple reading. Therefore, I don't need to follow this story, this story, that person, or that person. God is a Rahman Allah al Quran. Therefore, in the beginning of Quran a reformist translation, I provide some example how these verses could be read this way and that way, and all of them do not contradict each other, do not create contradiction. All of them is richness, wonderful reading, no problem. Al Rahman Allah al Quran, my brother. Who said Ar Rahman wa Allam al Quran? Uh, Ar Rahman Allam al Quran is God's word. Who recited it like this? Uh, recite another way, if that makes sense, doesn't cont create contradiction in uh, among ayats, absolutely I will accept it. Read it in My another question way. question was Muslim. How did you know it's recited Ar Rahman wa Allam al Quran? You're getting well, it from. The reciters. Well, no, no, no. It is read that way. Oh, I, I, listen, I am not. I, I, I look at the Quran. Show me a Quranic manuscripts, even without dots, without uh, dietary. I can read. I can read the oldest manuscripts. I can read. As long as that reading doesn't create contradiction, because there is no contradiction in God's word. That is beautiful. You cannot. Okay. If you can come up, my brother, come up with a reading. That it doesn't create contradiction, I welcome it. Mashallah, beautiful. Did, 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 did you base did you base your translation on a manuscript without any diacritical marks or dottings, or were you heavily influenced by um, a popular recitation like Hafsa Nasim, for example? Uh, be, I, be honest. Be honest. Yes, uh, honest. Uh, of course, it is a Hafs version. However, I am not bound by Hab's version. I don't care about Hab's This guy, that guy. It is God's word. It's preserved by God. When the Quran says, the Quran la rayba fi, when the Quran says Quran is preserved by God, not by people, I trust God and it provides me wonderful thousands of proof that this is God's word. It should be read this way. And I anything, just bring me an example. We bring me a counter example of that one we discuss. That Hujjat al Baligha belongs to God, and God he has he given us Hujjat al Baligha. He, he said something, he said something strange just now. You said that you don't trust your own reading of that ayah. So, why should we trust you on what you say that ayah means when you say yourself that you don't trust your own recitation? And furthermore, I actually am concerned here. Why are you rejecting the classical reading? which you know, is successive and is present in the manuscript tradition, why are you rejecting it when you do seem to use and affirm Hafs and Asim, as we pointed out in your own translation? Are you saying it is reliable and you trust the transmitters, or are you saying it's unreliable, but you pick and choose the ayat which you think are reliable? What makes you, Edith, the criterion for what is valid and invalid in the Qur'an? I'm not uh, myself criteria. I'm using reason. God says, uh, uh, and there are lessons for ulil albab. Therefore, God says, use your reason and do not rush into the judgment and have a qalb salim, good intention. God says, I will teach you the Quran. And the same with me. If you look at it, uh, study it, you will find out it is so easy. The Quran, لَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنَ لِذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ But unfortunately, majority of Muslims do not trust God, do not believe these Quranic verses. That's the problem. That's the very reason why there is mahjur. Uh, there is wall between them, the Quran. Therefore, they will how, never... How do, you know, how do you know those verses weren't added like a thousand years ago what's your uh, you know beautiful 
of course, uh, the mathematical structure of the Quran leaves they, no doubt that this so can you're, be... You're one of those people who follow that, you know, uh, Rashid Khalifa, and you, have, you believe the Quran is encoded with 19, right? I'm not following him because it is objective fact, verifiable and falsifiable it's, physical yes, fact. Yes, you don't need to follow it. anyone for that. Neither follow me or Rashad Khalifa. That's exactly what God wants us. God no, says, but, 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 Ahmad Didat had, had used it once in one of his debates, but you know, even it's in the website and people have uploaded how the countings were wrong and you know the whole formula that he had, it didn't fit together. That has no, already been debunked. I know Ahmad Didat, we met uh, for two weeks, we were together in uh, Chanakala in 1980 uh, when he was uh, writing Quran, The Ultimate Miracle. I spent time, in fact, I learned uh, about the miracle of 19 from him. Ahmed Idat was a wonderful guy, very smart, one of the best uh, debater that I have seen in my life. However, he was not a studious expert on the topic. I know him very much, and I know Dr. Rashad Khalifa. I met Rashad Khalifa too at the same time. Those so-called uh, uh, refutations, uh, absolutely, they are based on ignorance by distortion, and uh, I have refuted them. I have a, a book running like zebras. It's this PDF for free. You will find I respond uh, Bilal, uh, Bilal, uh, uh, what was his name? Bilal, uh, Abu Bilal, uh, Bilal, and also a few others who uh, uh, wrote. Bilal Phillips. Bilal Phillips. Yeah, Bilal Phillips. God bless you. Bilal Phillips, you will see my refutation that. It is absolutely uh, wrong they are. But if you study it on your own, you will find a mistake. Don't just follow absolutely. Be critical of anything, but be open-minded, my brothers. Don't have prejudice. Go study it for yourself. You are following a certain recitation. For example, you said, How do you know it's recited? Because you're following, for example, the Qira'ah. Of Al Imam Asim or Al Qira'a. No, no, read it another way because we know Arabic too. Read it another way. What else have finish. read it? it let my brother, finish. please. Let me finish. I say Al Quran la Zaytafi. Prove me wrong. What did you say? Basically, what he says. Brother Abdul Bar, what he says, let me explain to you what he says. So, what they say, what they claim is that uh, they basically got the Quran transmitted to them the same way we did. But then they did some, like, uh, right, 19. So they found some patterns in the Qur'an, right? And then they believe that the Qur'an is codified in such a way that if you change any single thing, um, you know, it loses that perfect uh, coding. So, um, you know, what they say is that the moment, like, if you, ch if you change, like, to something else, anything small, it's going to break that formula. I right? can give you several examples. In fact, those but, examples were controversial. But, uh, but, but yeah, one thing but is, one thing is, brother, evidence and, and let, me, let me mention one yes. point before you continue. So I myself, uh, you know, I, I didn't really, uh, you know, know that there were, you know, people who kind of denied the Qira'at before and everything. So I was very impressed with that once, right? And from a point of being impressed, I had looked at it. And then myself, I had counted and verified some of the claims, and I found them wrong. So, like, with my own eyes, I went over them, and I had no idea there were refutations, none of that. And actually, it's the first time I'm, I'm, I'm even realizing that, you know, uh, it's like that, that you guys even deny the, the qira'at. Uh, so that's kind of shocking to me. But um, obviously, I knew even at that time that this cannot be truly true because it doesn't take account of the ahruf. And the ahruf, there can be ziyad and nuqsan, there can be, uh, you know, uh, mughayar of, uh, you know, change of different words. So, um, you know, obviously the foundation is already wrong, but I was like, okay, maybe in a certain harf or with a certain arrangement, there is some code that would be pretty cool. But then when I verified it myself, some of those, I found them wrong and I did not know there were any, um, any refutations already. So um, I, I don't think that, like, I don't even think it's possible for for you to uh, to claim that there can be such a code, um, you know, and uh, you know, if there is, the moment you factor in the ahruf, it's it's uh, completely wrong, and uh, you can't just like you know get something on a silver platter after 14 centuries and like say there's a code, and then like that same silver platter comes with other ahruf, 
So, you know, it doesn't come only with that one thing. So, well, uh, my brother, uh, we first of all, the oldest manuscripts have dots on them. The dots were not uh, like dots of today. They were lines and uh, they were in different colors. Therefore, uh, you may find copies of the copies. You may not notice it. But I studied the oldest manuscripts, the real ones. I went to certain museums and libraries. I studied them. I know exactly what are the differences. I have uh, uh, translated the Quran to two languages and also the calligraphy of the Quran, the origin, uh, oldest Qurans. I have studied them. I'm not just talking on top of my uh, head. And uh, therefore, when you uh, initially you can, uh, by certain assumptions, false assumptions and false ideas, you may e reflexively reject it. And it is very easy to do because it, it, it is demonized and very there is negative uh, propaganda against it. Of course, it is easy to just side with the crowd. But if you have the courage and curiosity to check about this great miracle, God says, Ali Asher, and God says this number will increase the faith of those who trust in God. Yeah. Okay, we will so, so one, one thing, brother. So even let's let's accept, right? Let's accept that this miracle does exist. It still doesn't necessitate that um, the Hadith tradition do, uh, doesn't exist because I can totally, rather it made me happy when I heard it. I was like, okay, maybe there's a combination and there can be some code. Um, I'm like, that's pretty cool, but it doesn't negate the fact that the other ahruf still exist, and it doesn't negate the existence of the hadith tradition. Because, for example, there's many orders that Allah gives in the Quran, aqim salah and so on and so forth. How do you even know the masail of salah? How do you know? There's so many things you guys don't know. So what, what I'm saying is like, even you proving this point, it does not necessitate uh, the fact that the hadith tradition is uh, is is false. Uh, yes, you're, you're my brother. I used to I used to think the same because I used to be a Sunni scholar. My yeah, father was a scholar. I used to exactly think the same way. But this question, eighty four yes. minutes, eighty four so, minutes, bro. I don't want to, I, guys. Please let's not move on to that because I mean that's a discussion that we have all the time. How do you pray, right? Mm -hmm. This is much more interesting. Um, and Edith, I'm really curious. Are, are you saying that we should all pick up a mushaf without any diacritical marks and and try to figure out what it says and the quran will still remain preserved absolutely it is uh, in fact in the beginning of uh, quran reformist translation i have section about that i provide some good ex examples some of them inclusive some of them exclusive inclusive ones means both reading do not contradict, create contradiction, uh, do, do not have different meaning. No, but what and if they do? But what uh, if they do? Because, if, because, again, if everyone's doing this guesswork by themselves, we will ultimately have different Qur'ans. There, there's no problem with that. Trust me. I, but the 19, the 19, the 19, the 19 code doesn't take into account the deck it, it appears like that. I know, understand, if I were in your position, I would say exactly that way my reaction. But in fact, the formula is very clear. If the Quran left that one, I know 100% God left dietrical mark reading, deliberately left for us. And therefore, any reading that doesn't create contradiction within the Quran or between the Quran and God's ayah in universe. All these reading as okay, no problem. In fact, beautiful richness in that. There is no problem in that. For example, so one, so, one. So Allah, so listen, Allah listen, didn't listen, intend. Listen. So Allah Quran, didn't intend uh, yeah, any, any specific uh, recitation at all. No specific recitations. He didn't intend anything. He just left it open for us. What did the Prophet uh, peace be teach? Didn't, let, you, didn't you admit that he taught the Quran? Let me uh, bring the... Uh, because you believe that there are different recitations when it is tradition, when it is someone, big guys with big beard, we say, yes, there are so many seven recitations, it is okay. But when God leads to knowledge, to reason, to a certain reason with this formula, Don't you preach to us about big be. beards. Focus on no, the point it, of fearing. It is not. It is made up. It is the Quran step no. of Muhammad thought this. It is like many hadiths fabricated. Did the Prophet recite in a certain way or no? Can we go back to the ayah in my picture, please? Uh, Ida, please. Just, just tell us, educate us why the verse is wrong, why it's supposed to be uh, not 
So that's what I'm waiting for. Just please explain to me, what is the methodology? How am I as a lay person, as a non-Arab, as an Ajami, how am I supposed, when I pick up the Quran, okay? I pick up Hafs, I pick up Hamza, I pick up whatever recitation of the Quran, okay? I see on all of them, غلبتهم. Why do I trust your recitation that's غلبتهم. That's what I'm waiting for. Just Allah khair. Let me uh, just uh, read my notes on, in a uh, short note in uh, Quran a reformist translation on this one. Here it is. Uh, Elif 1, Lam 30, Mim 40. The Romans have won at the lowest point on the earth, but after their victory, they will be defeated in a few more years. The decision before and after is for God, and on that day those who acknowledge will rejoice with God's victory. God gives victory to whom he wishes. He is the noble, the compassionate. Here is the note on this. <coughs> you might have noticed that we translated the reference of the verb غلب, uh, differently than the traditional translations. Instead of reading the word, in 32 as غلبه, we read it غلبت, uh, <coughs> which means just the opposite, defeated. Similarly, we also read its continuous future tense in the following verse differently. The prophecy of the verse we realize in 636, four years after the death of Muhammad, when Muslims confronted the army of Byzantine Empire around the Yermuk River in one of the most significant battles in history. Under the command of Khalid bin Walid, the Muslim army beat the Christian imperial army of four or more times their numbers. The Six-Day War Yermuk occurred in area near Sea of Galilee and Dead Sea, which are located in the lowest land depression on earth, 200-400 meters below sea level. Now, because believers will not be happy with the aggressors, with the Roman Empire's victory. That is my main reason. And when I go look at the history, there is Mute, uh, Byzantine Empire killed uh, many uh, believers, many uh, friends, companion of Prophet Muhammad. And then after this, this verse comes, and then in Yarmouk, they are defeated soon after uh, uh, few years after uh, this one. And the date is given, in fact, this Yarmouk is taught at the Academy of War in the United States, in Academy, as one of the most important battles in history. And therefore, it is, uh, it is not a story because all sides, Roman Empire, they have also noticed it. It's not a sectarian the death of the prophet? Hadith. How many years is that, please? After the death of the prophet? Uh, it was uh, in uh, 636. Prophet Muhammad uh, passed in uh, 632, about four years after so Prophet you... Muhammad. The, the issue with Surat al-Rum was revealed in Mecca. I don't know if you're aware, Edip. Um So that's quite late. Um, if the Quran is saying that um, there's going to be a reversal of, of uh, victor and, and loser in, in, in the battles, then it should have happened much sooner. That's why the timeline actually... I don't believe that. I don't believe the stories about uh, Mekki and Medani. There are uh, some distortions that is not 100%. Okay, so, so here's the, here's the general... Can you, can you listen, Adi? Can you listen? Go ahead for here's it. The issue. Here, here's the issue, bro. The, the issue is you're appealing to reports about a battle occurring and, and the Muslims winning that battle. And you're saying this is a prophecy about that. But, but the issue is yeah, you've, you've went against um, the consensus of reciters of the Quran. You, you are a Quranist, someone who holds on to the Quran. This is how all the Muslims have always been reading the Quran. Again, one more time. The consensus of Muslims, Sham, Al Basra, Al Kufa, Mecca, Medina. And guess what? They all claim that they all got it from Rasulullah. However, you're saying they all messed up because you think that maybe these verses. Bro? A question for you. Those uh, read the reciters, do they ever uh, get uh, differences, different readings? 
there's no different reading here. No, 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 no. In other places. And that's a different subject. It's no, a different no, topic. no. It's a very related subject because they differ sometimes four to six or okay. five to eight, five to five, seven okay. to three. Sometimes they differ and once a while, once a while, all of them could be agreed because if they are differing, that means they are not 100% solid, reliable source. The issue, that no, some, no, actually, actually, listen. actually the, issue, the issue here, the, the issue here is when they're all reciting the same thing, even though there's no diacritical marks, what are the odds of all of them screwing up? <laughs> don't, you I, see, I, don't you see the issue I with this? The reason yeah. is obvious. The reason is because the Uno made Empire when there was a major mobilization against Persian, if they wanted to read it this way to create, well, there was a hostility against Persian, even during Prophet Muhammad, we were siding with the Byzantine, therefore they are evil, let's go fight them. Therefore, many people could be used because that time the power of the empire the, the things could be used to distort, even create, fabricate no, no, those kinds of the recitations, the recit All the recitations trace back to before the Umayyad Empire, so that won't work. How do you know those, those chains made up? We know that uh, Abu Raya, Muhammad Abu Raya's about uh, Sunnah, defense of Sunnah, cites many, many cases, which even the which chain of narrators made which up. Chains, which chains specifically are made up? Well, the, the, those who made up the text of the hadith, they were also making up we're the chain of the Quran. Quran. We're talking about the Quran. We're talking about the yes, Quran. Yes, of course. For reading of the Quran, they could made up. They made up even a, a, a verse about the uh, stoning to death, and, and they Quran. made up. You know, how, excuse me, excuse me. So Hafs, Hafs never read these words, and Asim never read these words, and Nafa never read these words, and Abu Amr bin Ala never read these words. How do you know? Saying? We don't know. It is not like the Quran. It is story. It is narration. You are think these that's narrations are the Quran, either. like the Quran. Either, either that's how we have the actual Quran. It's through these specific people. That's how all the Muslims in the world read the Quran. What you're saying now, you see, the crazy thing about this whole subject is I thought you guys, I thought the Quran is held on to the Quran to at least a, a small degree. But no, it seems like you guys are just making this up completely and you're rejecting what we've inherited from our predecessors. Again, one more time, this verse, it's not only mutawatir up to each of these reciters, it's mutawatir to Rasulullah And not only that, they're all agreeing. And yet you're saying, I'm going to assume they all got it wrong because maybe, maybe it was all falsely attributed to all of them. It's it's wild. And you're basing this on what? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, that's enough discussion. Uh, thank you very much for your patience. <laughs> no, no. Eat it, eat it. Come on, defend your Quran. Defend your Quran if you're a man. Defend the Quran. Defend your Quran app. Defend your 19 code. Defend your translation. Don't go no, anywhere. No, I, I, I cannot Please defend stay. against those who close their eyes. I cannot show the light if you... No, you can't say that. Come on.